I am Dr. Gautam Kodikal and I have got more than 35 years experience in orthopedic surgery. I have been working here in Apollo Spectra Hospital for the last 10 years. I have um, basically will be speaking today about a very distressing condition which affects young people and for which so far there was no real uh, solution except for a joint replacement. But today we have a modern solution where we can save the joint and save the patient from undergoing joint replacement treatment. The condition is called avascular necrosis of the head of the femur. It is becoming increasingly common for no apparent reason really, but I am finding more and more patients affected by this condition. Usually what happens is that the blood supply to the head of the femur stops and because of that the head of the femur the bone begins to necrose or it dies and ultimately after some time the whole head of the femur gets damaged and it dies and it flattens and it loses its shape normally the head of the femur is round like a ball it's part of a ball and socket joint but uh, the ball then becomes flattened and becomes almost like a deflated football so once it reaches that stage then there is absolutely no hope and the only answer really is to do what's known as a total hip replacement. But the problem with a total hip replacement is that once you do a total hip replacement it lasts only for about 15 to 20 years and then after that you have to do another total hip replacement and after another 15 to 20 years you may have to do another total hip replacement and AV, avascular necrosis or what we popularly call AVN it usually affects people in 20 to 30 year age group and you can imagine then they'll have to go in their undergo in their life almost about four or five hip replacements which will become more and more and more and more complicated so is there a solution where we can save this ball from becoming flattened and from becoming deflated like a deflated football yes there is if we are able to catch this problem early and nowadays thanks to the help of MRI scans we are able to catch this problem very early and then what we can do is we can clean out this dead bone tissue and fill it with a tissue called bone cells or osteoblasts. Osteoblasts are cells which grow into bone. How do we do this? This is a technology which is an advancement on stem cell therapy. In stem cell therapy what you do is you just take a whole lot of cells and you throw it into that place and you don't know how many of these cells are actually bone growing cells. Here what we do is it's a process called regrow where we take the bone marrow cells which contain stem cells then we isolate those cells which can grow into bone growing cells and then we culture these bone growing cells and make them into a what is known as a critical mass of 10 million cubic cells per uh, 10 million cells per cubic centimeter and then this is given back to us it takes about four to six weeks to culture these cells and to bring this cells to this critical cast, uh, mass number and once we get this critical mass number then they give it back to us in the form of an injection so what we do is we make a drill a hole into the head of the femur and clean out all the dead bone and then inject this bone growing cell into that area so this is known as uh, what is called regrow or osteoblast implantation therapy and this is now the latest thing i have done a huge number of cases over the last about seven or eight years and we have been getting extremely good results and good success with this treatment i think I would say as much as 90 to 95 percent of the patients are happy we have saved their hips and we have saved them from total hip replacement so this is i would think a very very advanced type of treatment which we are offering here at apollo spectra hospitals for this kind of rare and very distressing condition which is becoming increasingly uh, common these days in the, and and, and is, is a is a really big problem for these young people.